What is up guys, it's Mike Jerome here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 22 of the Gothic 3 playthrough. In this particular playthrough, in this particular video, I will go and complete all the quests possible in Ben Sala. And uh, first of course I have to go from Lango to Ben Sala, but we're gonna go to Ben Sala nevertheless and complete all the possible quests there. So without further ado guys, let's begin. Ben Sala, here we come. Let's see if I can take over a mine crawler. Well, sand crawler. Very interesting. Let's kick these guys' asses. Sand crawler. Job sand crawler. Alright, so let's go to that cave over there, uh, which is quest related towards <coughs> Ben Sala. It has a couple of uh, renegade nomads in it. And since I'm gonna join the nomads, I cannot have any renegade nomads running around.
All right, so let me save. Well done, my crawler friend. Where's that leader? The leader isn't here. To beg. Maybe they don't have a leader, I'm not sure at the moment. But uh, it could be that he went through the wall, you know, happens quite often in this game. But whatever, I got the chests. Um, how many are there? Eight. Let's go, crawler. Sala, here we go. Still. I 
could use him against the undead. Good quick save and quick load, you know, but that's the cheaty way. surrounding this city. I would like to kill them. There they are. Damn, accursed it, undead. Now the mummies I hate the most because uh, they are barehanded and fast, really fast. Rest in peace, crawler. Alright, so let's go into the city. The city of Ben Salah. What do you want, Mora? What are you doing here? I brought some gifts for the Hashishan. 
pieces of raw ore, ore from the fires of Nordmar. I was going to get an artifact from the temple in return, but it was stolen. Stolen by stupid, greedy Moras. What are you going to do now? What do you think, Mora? We are going to watch the city. Help me defeat the undead. Moras like you made this happen in the first place. I don't trust you. You just raid whatever you can, and then you run for it. You have no honor. What can I do to make you trust me? I trust none but Darrow. He's a good fighter. He's got honor. If he trusts you, then I will go to the temple with you. Where's the temple? To the south. That's where the dead Moras come from. Have you been assaulted too? Um, no. I've been assaulted. Really? But I managed to escape to town. So I see. What are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to stay here. I already talked to Julio. He stays, I can stay. Can we trade? I am inconsolable, father of transactions. But those pillaging nomads robbed me of everything. And then there were all those undead out of the blue. It was horrible. They all fought, and so I got out of there as fast as I could. Get on with it. If you are a brave man, bring back my goods. All right. What kind of goods are they? There are eight crates. I think I wrote my name on them. They attacked me on the path outside the city. These should be all of your crates. You are truly a hero. Thank you very much. Now we can get down to business. Show me your goods. Well, not all worth a whole lot of uh, ease, too. I do want that one. Thank you very much. Thank you. What do you want? Have you come to pillage here? If so, you're too late. What happened? Ever since the undead appeared, we've had looters in the area. So, what do you want? I have come to fight the undead. If that is indeed true, you are a brave man. Let me know if you need a weapon. And go talk to Daro. If anyone knows what's going on, it's him. Teach me something about being a smith. You don't have the necessary experience. You are... Can I help you? This minor problem of the undead has completely shut down our work. Most of the blacksmiths are dead, and I need more steel. Steel, you say? Yes, the shipments from the tunnels. You want to help me? Bring me six crates of steel, then. Show me your goods. A ruby blade is a one-handed sword, so I'm not gonna need it. Thanks. I don't have the ingredients for that. I miss files. Why have you come to this wretched place? How are things? Most of the city's fighters have fallen, and the rest of them up and fled, cowards of men. What about you? I come from ben Arai. Once we learned what was going on here, we hurried to help. And what will you do next? There have been enough dead already. I will not risk my people's lives for an attack. We will protect this city for as long as we can. That is our job. What can I do to help? 
I sent a few men up the mountain. They never came back. Go and see whether any of them are still alive. They raided tunnels as well. The slaves never stood a chance. You had better prepare well so that you will stand a chance. Let me know if there is anything else I can show you. What about the temple? That's where the disaster started. That's where the source of evil is. But nobody in their right mind would dare go in there. If we ever want peace and quiet here, we must attack the temple as well. You've got a point. Right. You won't have to enter the temple by yourself. But first, the surroundings must be safe. Would you teach me how to fight? No, you cannot teach me anything. I'm gonna have a look at the tunnels. There are two tunnels in the mountain. One of them is directly behind the city. The other one is further east. Take care of yourself. I'm going to take care of that mountain. Be careful, son of boldness, and look out for my scouts. Will do. So we pay our tribute to Zuban for years, and then what? A few guys who think they are all so smart open up the great temple. They open the great temple and bring down the wrath of Beliar on all of us. Now I get to pay tribute for the rest of my life to make up for this disaster. Excuse me for being so upset, son of pluckiness, but I find this matter truly distressing. So I noticed. Can I trade with you? <sighs> Why not? Before we die, we can at least take care of some business. What exactly happened here? It was Bazir. That son of a thief opened the temple. Is that all? He had five keys. Beliar knows where he dug them up. He wanted the divine artifact and promised treasures to his men. Their eyes were sparkling with greed. But Bazir betrayed them all in the end. Tell me more about Bazir. He's paying a high price for the divine artifact. All those who entered the temple are dead. But his business is not finished yet. Beliar is furious. You mean... Yes, Bazir deserves to die. Bazir is uh, the guy in Montserra, I think. How can I help? Will you listen to that? He fights his way through to us and asks how he can help. That is the bravery of a man who fears no peril. It is a true hero speaking. Never mind. Get to the point. I implore you, save my city. Slay the undead. Do whatever it takes to lift this curse from us. All right. And go talk to Daro. I am sure he will be able to tell you more. But there is another important issue. A business deal that was entrusted to me. Tell me about this deal. We got ten ore blanks. A delivery from the orcs. They were destined for Ishtar, but they have been stolen. But I know who the thief is, and I want him to be punished for his nefarious deed. Let him die of thirst under Innos's scorching curse. Let the vultures feast on his eyes. Yeah, yeah, I get the point. I'll see to it. Who is he? Sugat, one of our own people. The traitor. May Beliar's furious wrath overtake him. Already killed Sugat. I have dealt with Sugat. Excellent. Let him stew in Beliar's realm for his sacrilege. You have done a good job, and good work is rewarded with good gold. Show me your goods. 27,000, would you look at that rich guy. Alright, so let's take care of the undead. Give me dirt. Are you having that uh. fun? No. Yeah, making me dirt. That's one 
less. Good job, guys. Give me dirt. Those legs, though. Something is bugging them. Sorry for the uh, leg spikes, guys. But, uh... <clears throat> I think it's because of all the undead wandering around in the vicinity. You know, I'm not quite sure. Surely lags like hell, you know, even though there's not much here, except for all these corpses and whatnot. But my PC is not in a good mood today, apparently. If you're looking for anything in Pacific and you can't stand those legs, you know, which I understand, make sure to always check the video's descriptions and uh, it will help you to get to your requirements relatively quickly. Let him handle those and let me man. This video will also contain the temple, but uh, the temple is going to be quite tricky with the undead priests, so yeah. quite curious now that one goes. This was to be expected. Look at the leg. For what? No! Uh. 
in the sun may wither in the sun let's quick save so I don't have to redo the t first tunnel out of two Just don't learn. The beasts just don't learn. Yeah, the lag begins again. That's most definitely because of the zombies and no. the undead. It's the other orc warrior. As soon as the all these zombies start walking, it lags like a madman. bite through it guys, I have to bite through it as well. Let me quickly...
Oh, there you are. I'm not hitting the bugger. You showed him, miserable creature. Let me talk with him in a bit. Let me first complete the quests before I will set back to this city as well as loot the mine and then I have to go back up at the mountains for one more related quest which is uh, the troops that the guy sent are now all turned into undead And I will pick up this guy here by the mine and take him to the smithy in uh, Ben Sala. Or it better be magic ore. Yeah. Good. Let's get the final boogers.
Goodbye. Stupidity of some creatures. Critters, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they're really stupid. Oh well, free XP. So I still have left 14. So on all the zombies and all the mummies and whatnot. With the mine and this one I shot it about 103. I had 117 so about 103 arrows. Fire arrows. Some of which missed tremendously. But uh, most of which hit it I think. Didn't count you know. But got 14 left, so uh, that's a whole chunk. Goodbye. Broken. All right, so let's get the uh, guy from the mine, and uh, let's go back to Benny Rai. What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm hiding. It's terrible. They, they're all dead, but, but they aren't. They died, but they got up again right before my eyes. Yeah, curse those undead. I beg you, take me away from here. Do you know anything about crates of steel? Before the undead came, there were some raiders in the tunnel. 
they dragged off a couple of chests. But I was able to save one. Here, you take it. Where do you want to go? Back to Ben Sala. Enzo will need my help, if he's still alive. Fine. I'll take you to Enzo. Thank you. I'll take you out of here. Good. Alright, so let's go. Oh, let me safe, just to be safe. I've got the steel that you wanted. Thank you. This is a good omen. Things are picking up again. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. I brought you somebody. Miguel, my loyal servant. Excellent. Thank you. And please forgive my initial mistrust, Father of Righteousness. You helped me a lot. Teach me something about being a smith. You aren't ready for that. Show me how to forge a magic ore weapon. There isn't much to know. The principle is the same as in forging weapons. Heat the blank, work it, cool it. But of course, a magic ore weapon needs a magic ore blank. Show me your goods. Alright, so let's see what I can get out of selling this stuff. Thank you. I'm going to relax a little. Show me your goods. Just making sure that none of them have arrows and such, you know. The tunnels are free once again. Great. We owe you our gratitude, Father of Bravery. Your men are dead. I have set them free. Damn that undead spawn! Will this madness never end? What about the temple now? This is a dangerous venture. If anyone can pull it off, you can. Go see Dalak. He will accompany you. Show me your goods. <laughs> Darrow trusts me, so come fight on my side. You have proven your worth, Mora. We will go to the temple and fight the damned. But we aren't going inside! Morris have started this mess. Morris will end it. You give the sign, and then we leave. Let's attack the temple, now. It's a good day to die. Let's go. Now this is going to be a very, very difficult, especially with the one or Don't two creep around here like that, Mora. undead mages. Let's go.
I will stop that beast. I will stop that beast. Put away your weapon. Yeah, Mora, get out of here. Another one of those annoying beasts. The beasts just don't learn. One less. A lot more to go. I will stop that beast. Give me dirt. Uh, that's one less. I'm going to try to uh, get that scorpion temple, well, temple scorpion as a uh, pet, but uh, I can't make any promises. Beasts just don't learn. Yeah, making me dirt. Making me dirt for the worms. <laughs> Look at them glitching like a boss. Is madness. I will stop that beast. Wow. Another one of those annoying beasts. No! No! Yeah. 
Well, that's because of all the undead. Look at how many. Sorry for the lag, guys. Yeah, make you meet this. The beasts just don't learn. Was afraid of that, but wanted to check nevertheless. <laughs> Shooting a fireball in my ass. No. That was a painful backstrike. Now if the orc warriors die, you know, that's fine. But uh, if I remember correctly, if I keep Dalek alive, the uh, orc commander of the, you know, of the group, I will get orc reputation. If that is the case, then I definitely need it because I'm 4% away from getting the best mercenaries armor in the game, the commander armor of the orcs. But I hate the mages. And the lag, you know, that all the undead cause.
making me dirt. Mage is dead, so that's one. There are two mages in the inner chambers. Save again so that at least this mage has been defeated. still have survived. But now comes the hardest part of it all. The area below. That mage is gonna be a very annoying. Annoying little buggers. I'm not quite sure if it was this cha this temple with two undead priests of uh, the temple of Al Shadim but uh, priests are always annoying. Alright, so let's save again and first clear the entire outer section, so uh, I can get the help of the orcs with that. Go level up perhaps. But then I at least know when I lure the mages outside that they will help me instead I of bugger with these.
Yeah, making me dirt. No! Oh! Yeah, I'm glad if all these undead are dead. Because it surely had legs. Good job, guys. Now let's plunder. Don't own, have the power yet to open metal chests. And I will not learn lock picking for it because, uh, as a servant of Adenos, I will have the opening locks capabilities. The only downside. A lot of ancient knowledge. I am currently on 109 and I need 230 for open locks. So it's gonna take some time, but uh, at some point, you know, if my character isn't full built yet, I'm gonna go and explore the areas a bit, you know, the usual rendezvous. Besides, you know, treasury is really not that important, although I do know that when opening a certain amount of metal chests or large chests, I'm not quite sure, it will give you, you know, rare, rare items such as a rare crossbow or a rare normal bow, you know, a rare sword, etc. Nothing to be had there. Here goes nothing, guys.
I think it's the mage. Wow. Terrible. Far so good. But still no mage, so there should be at least one. Well, two in total. One on the highest floor and one on the lowest.
No chests, though. Which is uh, too bad. Stop that beast! The evil has been defeated. You showed courage, Mora. You've got honor. Here, take this. You will need it. I will stop that beast. The beasts just don't. Hurt. Yeah, making me dirt. That's not very kind, now, is it? Hmm? It was just a summoned crater. Alright, so let's teleport back to Ben Sala. I don't have it ready. Well, then it's running back. I apparently don't have the Tarab Water Stone. I did level up though, twice, I think. No, I had six left. One, one level. Because I get uh, one bonus learning points with every level that I make. Let's save here. Should I not be able to get it in these vicinity, then I can still get it through the arena of Faring, the uh, Orc Reputation that is. So either way, before I'm gonna liberate the desert, I will be able to uh, learn, well, get in contact with Khan, the leader of the Orcs. I only wonder how expensive the bow will, or the armor will be. Because I know for the Paladin it's going to be around 170,000 gold. Which is a whole lot. Alright, so let's get back to the city.
I've been to the temple. So, evil has been conquered. We are in your debt. Go to Julio and tell him this wonderful news. He will pay back our debt to you. Too hard. Damn it, what's up? I believe your town is safe once again. Thanks a hundred times, Father of Fortitude. I knew it. The moment I saw you, I knew. This man is going to save us. Yeah, yeah, just stop it. Enough said. <laughs> Let me shower you with gold then. Who showered was it? Show me your goods. Alright, so let's sell him the junk that I don't need. And right, I must not forget to get that uh, teleportation rune stone. I have to search for it a bit though, but uh, I will find it at some point. Where was it again? Mm. Let me sleep till morning. Where or oh where was that teleport this time? I can't honestly recall. Oh here, blind I am. Seventeen. Let's quickly teleport. To uh, Ben Sala. Uh, ben Sala, Ben Arai. to learn how to make poison and poison arrows. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me how to make poison arrows. You need poison and a couple of arrows. Then carefully dunk the arrowheads in the fire. You need a steady hand, so take your time. I should have kept all my bloodfly stingers and uh, such because uh, I could have made a lot of potions, uh, poisons. But the poison arrow is not all that great. Um, I just learn it because this guy learns the bow. But poison on the weapons is awesome. Teach me how to make poisons. Basically, poison is no different than a regular healing potion. You need a recipe, the ingredients and an alchemist's bench. 
Dump it all together and stir well. When it becomes a sticky substance, you are finished. Now, only explosive arrows I need, which I will be able to learn in Nordmar. And uh, transformation potions I can pretty much learn at uh, pretty much any alchemist except for this one. Um, I wanted to check something. Let's see if it has poison recipe. Show me your goods. I'll just buy his poison so I can at least. I need the vials. I'll get the poison arrows. I need the wine. Um, but he doesn't seem to have poison um, recipe, which is too bad. But at least I can dip my weapon in poison now. Which will be always active. Alright, so I'm pretty much done here. Let's uh, teleport back to Benarai and, uh, well, Ben Sala. I keep switching them, you know. Uh, and finish the episode pretty much. So anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching and uh, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you do, hit the notification bell. If you want to leave behind a comment, both positive or negative, it's always welcome down below in the comment section. And as always, make use of the timestamps in the description down below and uh, feel free to leave it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it reaches, let's say, 100 likes in total on the first, second and third run um, combined, one video in each game, um, once it reaches 100 likes, Hardcore Run has been unlocked, which is uh, the path of the Chosen One, a full build in everything, in every Gothic game. So anyways guys, I hope to see you next time, Good night.